Dear friends, for a long time, deserts have been considered one of the harshest environments on Earth. Places where life itself, and especially human survival, face endless challenges. Building a normal road across this terrain already seems nearly impossible, let alone constructing a modern expressway. For many countries, shifting sand dunes, violent sandstorms, extreme temperatures, and a severe lack of resources are more than enough reason to avoid such regions or choose long detours instead. But China is different. Driven by a constant desire to push the limits of engineering, China chose to confront this challenge head on. It almost seems as if they enjoy conquering what the rest of the world considers impossible. With a bold strategic vision and enormous national resources, China invested 37 billion yuan, which was equivalent to about 5.7 billion US dollars at the time. More than 37,000 workers, engineers, and top-level specialists were mobilized to build the longest desert crossing expressway in the world. This was not just a transportation project. It was a clear statement of China's technological capability and national determination. Many foreign engineers and experts, drawing on experience from infrastructure projects in far less extreme environments, predicted that if China attempted to build such a massive expressway through the desert, it would take at least 30 years to complete. That estimate was based on the sheer scale of technical and logistical challenges involved. China proved them wrong. The entire project was completed in just nine years, a construction speed that stunned and impressed the world. This achievement reflected not only advanced planning and execution, but also tight coordination between government authorities and state-owned enterprises. And the miracle did not stop with speed alone. Normally, desert highways, even when completed, cannot operate year-round. Wind and sand constantly bury road surfaces, damage infrastructure, and force costly maintenance, often shutting down traffic. Yet China once again demonstrated something extraordinary. This expressway remains open 365 days a year. Despite relentless sandstorms and extreme temperature swings, this raises two key questions. Why did China invest so much money and manpower into building this road? And how did they keep it from being swallowed by endless waves of sand? The road we are talking about is the Beijing to Urumqi Expressway, also known as the G7 Jingxin Expressway. It is the longest desert crossing expressway on Earth. The route was fully open to traffic on June 30th, 2021, after the final section in the Xinjiang Uyghur Autonomous Region of Northwest China became operational. This moment marked a historic turning point, not only for China's transportation network, but for connectivity across the entire Eurasian region. The G7 Expressway connects the vibrant capital city of Beijing with Urumqi, the capital of Xinjiang, a vast and resource-rich region in western China. The route stretches for a total length of about 1,740 miles, a distance comparable to crossing the entire European continent from east to west. What makes this achievement even more astonishing is that more than 310 miles of the expressway cut straight through barren desert regions that are almost completely uninhabited. This route passes through two of the largest and harshest deserts in China. The first is the Badin Jaren Desert, famous for its towering sand dunes and recognized as the third largest desert in the country. The second is the Gobi Desert, a vast semi-desert dominated by gravel and rock rather than shifting sand, yet still one of the most unforgiving environments on Earth and ranked as the fifth largest desert in the world. Because of extreme natural conditions and complex geological challenges, the desert section in Xinjiang, where mobile sand dunes and severe water scarcity posed the greatest obstacles, was completed last and required the most advanced engineering solutions. Beyond Beijing and Xinjiang, the G7 Expressway also passes through four other provincial-level regions, including Hebei, Shangxi, Inner Mongolia, and Gansu, spanning much of northern and northwestern China. Once completed, this expressway shortened the driving distance between Urumqi and Beijing by more than 810 miles. In the past, trucks and vehicles traveling from Beijing to Xinjiang had to detour through Lanzhou in the Hexi Corridor, covering a total distance of roughly 2,420 miles. That journey often took several days and came with significantly higher fuel and transportation costs. With the G7 Expressway now in operation, it has become the fastest and most efficient route across northern China, saving between one and two full days of travel time for each trip. This dramatic reduction in distance brings major economic and strategic benefits. It strengthens the national transportation network, eases pressure on existing routes, and supports resource exploration, mineral extraction, 
and especially tourism development. Xinjiang is rich in oil, natural gas, and minerals. It is also China's largest cotton producing region and is well known for its distinctive fruits and agricultural products. In the past, transporting these goods to major Eastern markets was difficult and expensive due to distance alone. Today, the G7 Expressway has opened a vital transportation artery, allowing goods to move faster, more efficiently, and at far lower cost across the country. Like most large-scale infrastructure projects in China, the construction cost of the Beijing to Xinjiang Expressway was extraordinarily high. The total investment exceeded 37 billion yuan, equivalent to about 5.7 billion US dollars, a sum large enough to build an entire small city. To make this project a reality, an enormous workforce was mobilized, totaling around 37,000 people. This included design engineers, project managers, and tens of thousands of on-site construction workers. It stands as a powerful example of China's unmatched ability to mobilize national resources and turn so-called mega projects into reality. Because of this, the Desert Crossing Highway is not just a transportation route. It is one of the most strategic and critical infrastructure projects in the country. However, building it was anything but easy. The natural climate and construction environment created relentless challenges for both workers and engineers. They faced prolonged drought, severe shortages of fresh water for daily life in construction, and frequent sandstorms that disrupted work and threatened safety. Desert temperatures could plunge to minus 40 degrees Celsius in winter, which is about minus 40 degrees Fahrenheit, and soar above 50 degrees Celsius in summer or more than 122 degrees Fahrenheit. These extremes posed serious risks to worker health and placed immense stress on construction materials. Yet through extraordinary persistence and resilience, Chinese construction crews worked continuously for nine straight years. They endured every hardship and challenge and ultimately built this remarkable desert highway, transforming what once seemed like a hopeless wasteland into a modern transportation lifeline. Beyond climate challenges, Another major obstacle lay in the complex and unstable geological conditions along the route. In particular, the Jin Panwan mountain range contained large sections of soft rock, making the construction of long-span tunnels extremely difficult and highly prone to collapse. At the same time, desert foundations composed largely of loose and unstable sand were vulnerable to subsidence under the heavy loads of highway traffic. These conditions demanded specialized engineering solutions to ensure long-term stability and safety. Despite problems that appeared nearly insurmountable, Chinese builders refused to give up. Through innovation and advanced engineering techniques, they overcame each challenge. Mountain tunnels were reinforced using specialized strengthening methods to counter soft rock and collapse risks. For roadbeds built on sand, engineers developed artificial foundation techniques that transformed loose desert sand into a solid load-bearing surface. This achievement represents not only a triumph of engineering, but also a powerful testament to the determination and resilience of an entire nation. So why did China insist on building the longest desert crossing expressway in the world when routes linking Beijing and Xinjiang already existed? The answer lies in the inefficiency of the old routes. As mentioned earlier, traveling from Beijing to Xinjiang once required vehicles to detour through Lenzhou and the Hexi Corridor, covering a total distance of roughly 2,420 miles. That journey often took several days, consumed enormous amounts of fuel, and generated high transportation costs, seriously reducing economic and commercial efficiency. By cutting directly across the desert, the Beijing to Xinjiang Expressway shortened the road distance from Beijing to Urumqi by more than 810 miles. This reduction delivers clear and measurable economic benefits. Each long-haul truck driver traveling from Beijing to Xinjiang can save more than 1,000 yuan per trip, or about 150 US dollars, thanks to lower fuel consumption and reduced toll expenses. Travel time is shortened by one to two full days, significantly improving logistics efficiency and allowing transport companies to complete more trips within the same time frame. More importantly, large volumes of agricultural and industrial products from Xinjiang, including cotton, fruits such as grapes and melons, as well as oil and natural gas, can now reach major cities across China much faster. This opens new sales channels for local farmers and producers and substantially increases their income. Beyond direct economic gains, the G7 Expressway also plays a crucial role in boosting local tourism. Vast desert landscapes, open grasslands, and the diverse cultural heritage of Xinjiang 
are now more accessible than ever, attracting visitors from across China and abroad. This not only strengthens Xinjiang's regional economy, but also supports China's Western development strategy, a national initiative aimed at promoting prosperity and integration in the country's less developed Western regions. Along the expressway, new logistics hubs, service centers, and tourism zones are emerging, helping build a stronger corridor economy. At a broader level, the expressway is also a key component of the Belt and Road Initiative, enhancing overland connectivity between China, Central Asia, and Europe, and forming one of the most important economic and transportation corridors in the region. However, while the Beijing to Xinjiang Expressway delivers enormous savings and efficiency gains, the greatest challenge China faced was ensuring that this highway could remain open, um, stable, and sustainable over the long term. Compared to building roads on stable terrain, constructing and maintaining an expressway in the desert is an entirely different challenge. In the desert, everything you see is sand, and sand is far from an ideal construction material. Desert sand is typically soft, uh, loose, and lacks cohesion making it unsuitable as a foundation for roads that must carry heavy traffic loads. Without special treatment, road surfaces would quickly sink, deform, and deteriorate. That is why building in the desert begins with extremely meticulous roadbed engineering. Engineers must first give the desert section real load-bearing capacity. This requires reinforcing the foundation with multiple layers of stabilizing materials, compacting each layer carefully to create strength and durability. Only then can the road surface support continuous vehicle traffic for decades. However, once the foundation problem is solved, an even bigger challenge emerges. This is the true critical test. Sand behaves almost like a fluid when driven by wind. It is constantly moving, shifting, and accumulating without an effective solution. Just a few days after a severe sandstorm, an entire desert roadway can be completely buried and rendered unusable. This has happened many times to smaller roads and even railways in desert regions around the world. Yet the expressway built by China remains open all year long. Despite the harsh environment, this achievement sparked intense curiosity among engineers from Western countries, especially the United States, who wanted to know how China managed to pull off such a feat. To solve the problem of shifting sand, China implemented a multi-layer and highly effective solution. First, Strong windbreak and sand blocking barriers were installed on both sides of the road. These barriers, which include low concrete walls and specialized mesh fences, reduce wind speed and limit the amount of sand that can be lifted and blown onto the roadway. This approach significantly weakens the direct impact of wind and sand on the expressway. At the same time, engineers adopted a method that sounds simple but proved extremely effective. Planting vegetation to stabilize the sand the goal was to create a continuous green belt along both sides of the highway. Plant roots bind the sand together and prevent it from drifting. While the concept is straightforward, keeping plants alive and healthy in the desert is anything but easy. The biggest shortage in the desert is water, the most basic requirement for plant survival. Without sufficient water, vegetation quickly withers and dies, losing its ability to control and fix the sand. This leads to an obvious question. How did China secure a reliable water supply for plants along such a vast and arid route? To address the water challenge, engineers and workers carried out a major water infrastructure effort. They drilled more than 40 deep water wells along the expressway. Each well reaches depths of more than 656 feet, tapping into deep underground aquifers beneath the dry desert surface. This demonstrates that while deserts appear lifeless on the surface, significant water resources can still exist far below ground. To operate these deep pumping systems, many small utility buildings were constructed along the route. Inside them are generators and powerful pumps that lift water to the surface and distribute it to the vegetation zones along the highway. To further reduce irrigation costs and improve long-term sustainability, solar panels were widely installed along both sides of the desert highway. Advanced drip irrigation technology was introduced, allowing solar energy generated during the daytime to power the entire system. This setup not only supplies electricity to water pumps, but also enables automated and highly precise irrigation. By relying on solar power, the project significantly reduces the use of diesel generators, cutting operating costs and lowering carbon emissions, fully aligning with China's green development goals. Drip irrigation is an extremely efficient solution compared to traditional flood irrigation methods in desert environments. It can reduce water usage by up to 70% 
while effectively preventing soil salinization. This point is especially critical because groundwater extracted in desert regions often contains high salt levels. If water were applied broadly, salt would accumulate in the soil and damage vegetation over time. Drip irrigation delivers water directly to plant roots, minimizing evaporation and carefully controlling soil salinity around each plant. This is exactly how China is not only building a road, but also creating an artificial ecosystem to protect this desert crossing expressway. Beyond engineering and environmental solutions, the project also demonstrates a strong commitment to biodiversity protection. In desert and grassland areas inhabited by wildlife such as wild camels and Mongolian gazelles, engineers designed and built 62 dedicated animal passages. Some of these crossings are uniquely constructed with three levels. Rail lines run underneath, animal corridors occupy the middle level, and the expressway passes overhead. This design ensures that wildlife can move safely across the landscape without being blocked by the highway, greatly reducing ecological disruption. Only by integrating all of these technical, financial, and environmental measures in a coordinated way could this expressway, with a total investment of 37 billion yen, remain open year-round and operate reliably for decades. This project is not just a construction marvel. It is a clear demonstration of persistence, long-term vision, and China's extraordinary ability to mobilize massive resources. It shows that with the right determination and technology, even the most extreme natural challenges can be overcome, transforming some of the harshest environments on Earth into vital corridors for growth and prosperity. This is truly a powerful lesson and a source of inspiration for the entire world on how bold infrastructure dreams can be turned into reality.